how do I access professional learning and development to support my community of learning, Kahui Ako? Using centrally funded professional learning and development is one of the key strategies a Kahui Ako can use in their critical work in raising student achievement. One of the key reasons a Kahui Ako may apply for centrally funded PLD is in response to situations where they may wish to use external expertise to grow the capability of teachers across the Kahui Ako. This will build sustainability as the teachers with the learned expertise will be able to maintain the learning when the centrally funded facilitator has moved out. There are four key steps to accessing PLD. One, using the inquiry you undertook when developing your achievement challenge to inform your PLD needs. Secondly, putting together and submitting your proposal. Thirdly, selecting your facilitator or facilitators. Fourthly, planning for your PLD delivery with your facilitator. Number one, clarifying your PLD needs. This is about working with your team on what area or areas you need PLD in. To do this, you can review the inquiry you undertook to identify your achievement challenges. Consider if there is any more information that you may not have known about previously, such as information from parents, students, teachers, or other Kahuiako members, or some updated data that you can include. Decide on the priority student groups you intend to target with your professional development that can be your barometer to identify the impact on students' learning. Discuss how this PLD fits with other supports you have, including the cross-community and in-school Kahuiako teachers. Secondly, putting together and submitting a proposal. Download the PLD Journal proposal template from the PLD website and start answering the questions within it. Your Regional Ministry of Education advisor is available to assist you. Answer every question, making sure that overall your proposal tells the reader exactly what you want, and this may be a more than one area, and why. The inquiry process you use for arriving at your PLD request, and who was involved in this what national priority area or areas each PLD request relates to, how the PLD relates to your achievement challenge and kahuiako goals, and finally, how it will be supported by the kahuiako, who will lead it, and how will other people within the kahuiako contribute to it. Submitting your proposal. You can put forward a proposal for PLD in any term during the year. One PLD proposal may include several different PLD requests for the Kahuiako. Closing dates for each term are available online on the PLD website. You can access this information from your area on the front page. Submit your PLD proposal to your local area or regional office. Thirdly, selecting your facilitator. Use the search function on the PLD website to find your facilitator or facilitators for your centrally funded PLD. On the website, you can find out about each facilitator, including their past experience and examples of their practice. Details about the region and what medium they can work in, school level and digital links to further information about them their areas of specialisation, some referees who can talk about the work done in their schools. When you have found a facilitator who meets your needs, use the contact details on the website to get in touch with them directly.
Fourthly, planning your delivery. You will receive your journal back with the delivery plan available for you to work on with your chosen facilitators. You may choose to work with your team first so you can make the most of the planning time with your facilitators. The delivery plan template asks you to record the name of your facilitators on the start page and then it will auto-populate on the delivery plan page. Your kahui calls self-assessment in each of seven outcome areas. The national priority focus and the student target group for monitoring the impact of the PLD and how you are planning to spend your time both internally within the kahui and with the facilitators. Implementing and reporting on your PLD. Implement your PLD just as you planned. Every six months, you will work with your facilitators to review and report on progress. Click on the reporting tab in the journal and fill in the yellow sections. This also includes updating the baseline information you recorded in your delivery plan in relation to the outcome descriptors that are improved inquiry, evaluative capabilities, understand what needs to change to lift student outcomes, cultural responsiveness, build new knowledge and transfer to practice, develop more effective leadership for learning, improved student achievement and builds educationally powerful connections. Where can you go to get more information about PLD? You can visit the website services.education.gov.nz forward slash pld or you can email pld.redesign at education.gov.nz